Coming up next on the Beagle Sports Network, it's the return of Major League Soccer. LAFC battles the Los Angeles Galaxy in El Trafico to kick off the 2023 season. Good evening everyone and welcome inside the Dignity Health Sports Park. After an amazing cup final last November in this very building, Major League Soccer makes its return on the Beagle Sports Network. Throughout our existence, our MLS coverage has been particularly limited. We're excited to announce that every Thursday night, we will be simulating one game from the upcoming weekend. And this weekend's game, a cross-town rivalry match, the defending MLS Cup champions LAFC, battle the LA Galaxy, and it is only fitting that El Trafico gets underway during rush hour here in the city. At the end of last season, LAFC were able to take the title in a thriller against the Philadelphia Union. The two teams entered extra time tied with two goals each. Despite Jack Elliott's 124th minute goal to put Philadelphia in the lead, Gareth Bale would have the last word in minute 128, sending the game to a penalty shootout. From there, it was simple for LAFC, winning the shootout 3-0 and securing their fourth trophy in only their, sorry, no, their first trophy in their fourth year of MLS play. The league continues to expand into the 2023 season. St. Louis has been given a, t has been given a team this year, soccer continuing its reach throughout the United States. The last time there was an El Trafico match, it was a conference semifinal. Dennis Buanga and Christian Arango would secure a 3-2 win for LAFC over the Galaxy, sending them into the conference final against Austin. The Galaxy will look for revenge this evening. Will they be able to obtain it? Let's go down to the field to find out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Los Angeles. The LA Galaxy and LAFC going at it to open the 2023 MLS season. We're getting into the, we're getting into the summer sports now. The Super Bowl is over. Football is done. At least uh, the NFL and college are. And now we have the Daytona 500 last weekend. We've got the start of the MLS now. In about a month, we'll have baseball. The winter slowly beginning to fade away. And this is another step. The real fixture was supposed to take place at the Rose Bowl. And obviously that is not in FIFA. So we're using Dignity Health Sports Park instead despite the fact that the majority of MLS stadiums aren't in FIFA either. And LA Galaxy, I should mention, in a 4-3-3 for this game. Just getting caught up in things, not really talking about the game itself as we take a look at LAFC's lineup for this, this evening, this afternoon. They will be in a 4-3-3 as well. The flags are waving, the scarves are up, at least for the LA Galaxy they are. El Trafico uniting the city of Los Angeles, but also dividing it this evening. Pick your sides, ladies and gentlemen, because here we go. The Galaxy in white, LAFC in black. And you can hear the chanting. This is going to be interesting. There's the whistle, and away we go. Chicharito to Delgado to begin things, and the 2023 MLS season is officially underway. We are so glad that you've joined us. As I mentioned, we will be simulating Major League Soccer every Thursday night. One matchup from the upcoming weekend, and what a way to, to kick off that new era in the 26th season of the league. And a shot taken there. Bond able to make the save. First corner kick of the season going to LAFC, the defending champions of the MLS. We simulated the MLS Cup last November. We were wrong. I mentioned that was in this very same building. In real life, it was the Bank of California Stadium. But here in FIFA, 
we did the fi- we did the final at the Dignity Health Sports Park, and I believe Philadelphia took the win there. We were wrong about that. We were wrong about the World Series, but in the Beagle Sports Universe, it is good to be a Philadelphian. Perhaps we will see the Flyers and the 76ers taking gold as well if we do decide to go through with the Stanley Cup and the NBA playoffs would be quite an effort. Araujo, Chiellini with the block, one of the big stars there for LAFC, Giorgio Chiellini, as well as, of course, Gareth Bale, the hero uh, in the cup, as I mentioned, tied the game, sent it to penalties. Well, tied the game in overtime, and Ricky Puig, as I'm caught up in my own discussion, he has got ahead and made it one nothing in favor of the Galaxy. Just nine minutes in here at the Bank of... Sorry, no, the Dignity Health Sports Park. And we already have the first goal of the season. Let's take a look at the replay. Moves in. Catches the goalkeeper off guard as well as the commentator. And puts the Galaxy in the lead. one nothing. What was I talking about? Who knows. The important thing here is that we have had the first goal of the season. Ricky Puig getting the honor in the ninth minute and the champions find themselves behind. As I was saying, Gareth Bale, overtime 2-2, two two, or extra time. By the end of extra time, it was 3-3. Three 3-0, three. Three penalty shootout. LAFC would take the title, their first in four years. Four years playing in the MLS. Buanga, Cifuentes tries to tie it, and Arajo getting it away from the goal. Chicharito with the header, but Palacios will take it back for LAFC. And Buanga, number 99, trying to move in and get close, but being chased to the corner. Edwards with the interception gets the ball for the Galaxy. Long had it for a second. Rodriguez now to Chicharito. The big star there for the Galaxy. And with a slide, LAFC get the ball once again. Cifuentes and Hollingshead. Vela. Buanga. Acosta. Arajo and Acosta battling for it, but now Buk. Caceres. Bit of a fight here, in a way. And by which I mean, of course, a struggle for the ball. An actual fight, you don't see that very often in soccer. This isn't hockey. Puyuk has it taken by Kulibaly. And the Galaxy, now with the ball, move into the opponent's side of the field. Alvarez passes backwards to Delgado. Delgado to Chicharito. But Dennis Buanga will take it for LAFC as we pass the 20-minute mark here at the Dignity, Dignity Health Sports Park. Cifuentes sends it into the air. Palacios. To Buanga looking to tie it, but he will send it way over the crossbar. As we take a look at the replay. And you can hear some guy trying to start a chant. Good volume, but not much success. As it is cleared away, but not very far. Araujo and Kalibali for the Galaxy. Rowdy fans, even in the United States. It seems to be universal. It's the game of soccer. Araujo to Chicharito. Now Delgado. Chiellini will take it for a second, but the Galaxy with the ball back. Long gets in the way. Crepo finally sliding in. And putting it, putting an end to the offensive crusade of the galaxy, at least for now. Vela missed slide there, and I don't think the referee's going to say anything. Buanga, Buk, Acosta blocked by Cacheres, and Kalibali sends it away. Brugman with the header will get it to Rodriguez. Now, 
Rodriguez again, Chicharito. 30 minutes in, Brogman looking to make it 2 0. And Hollingshead will take the ball for LAFC. Denis Buanga, Cifuentes, now Vela. And Acosta, Bond with the save. As LAFC prepare for another corner kick, the captain, Vela, to take it. And the flags are waving this evening. As I mentioned, it's about 5 o'clock here in Los Angeles. As I mentioned, how appropriate that we have El Trafico during rush hour. Hollingshead takes the shot, but Bond makes the save. And that's the thing about the game of soccer. You don't want to get too wrapped up in your own anecdotes as a commentator because things like that can happen just suddenly. Or, for example, Ricky Puig's goal in the ninth minute completely caught me off guard. Not much reaction. There's the corner, and Araujo will just head it away full force as we take a, look at, take a look at a small corner of LAFC fans. But as you can see, it is mostly support for the Los Angeles Galaxy, and it makes sense because we are in their home stadium. Ten minutes away from halftime, Vela, the captain, a short pass to Acosta off the corner. And now Cifuentes, Buanga. Completely misplaced, misplaced shot there. And it's still 1-0 in favor of the Galaxy. Would not be a good start to the season for the defending champions of 2022 to lose to their crosstown rivals. A lot of pride on the line in this game. Ili Shilini. Cifuentes. Acosta. Araujo will take it to a massive roar from the Galaxy supporters. Cifuentes, Vela, Buanga as LAFC have it again. Hollingshead, Vela again, Buanga again. Vela, the captain, takes the shot. And it's a long shot. Bond with the save. About five minutes to go in this first half. Quite the first half it has been. One goal being scored in the ninth minute. But we've seen a couple of chances. As Vela once again prepares to take the corner. The captain for LAFC has been their corner man this evening. Calling over Acosta, now Cifuentes, and Buanga, shot taken. But it goes off to the left. And another missed shot for LAFC this evening. Away it goes. Alvarez, Ili will take it now for LAFC. Cacheras with the interception. And the Galaxy hoping to hold on to the ball. Sorry, hoping to hold on to the ball until the end of the first half. And Ricky Puig just tearing up the field. But Cifuentes in front of him. All for naught as LAFC get the ball back. Vela and Cifuentes back and forth. Two minutes added on before halftime. Cacheres will pass to Bond. Kicked away. Brugman, Cifuentes, Acosta, Biuk, Calibali to Arajo for the Galaxy, and that will be all for this first half. So we will take a short break. When we come back, we'll bring you the next 45 minutes here from Los Angeles. A 1-0 lead for the Galaxy over their crosstown rivals.
We are back in Los Angeles for the conclusion of El Trafico. 45 minutes gone, 45 minutes to go. And after that commercial break, I want to remind you, this Sunday we will have the second race in our NASCAR Racing 2003 custom season. The Subway 400 returns from Rockingham Speedway in North Carolina. 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central on Sunday. And tomorrow we will have WWE Friday Night SmackDown Universe Mode continuing. Uh, the first episode of SmackDown. We're going to see if Stone Cold shows up to answer the challenge of Roman Reigns to face Solo Sokoa. And we're also going to hear from women's champion Charlotte Flair and Austin Theory defends the United... The Uni I can't talk. The United States Championship against Damian Priest after Priest beat Lashley on Monday. Number one contenders match. Away it goes. Goal kick by Bond. And I should probably be paying attention to the game. LAFC took 13 shots in the first half. I looked at the, I looked at, I looked at the stats. 13 shots. The Galaxy took three and made one. And they've got a one nothing lead now. 13 shots for, L for LAFC. Zero goals. Not a good look for the champions. And one substitution for each team now. The crowd getting especially wild for some reason. I don't know why exactly. But whatever the reason, we continue the game. Kulibaly... Cacheres takes the shot! Crippo with the save. And Rodriguez setting up for the corner. They're just going wild. I don't understand it. Flags aplenty this evening. Waving in the grandstand as Cifuentes takes it from Ricky Puig, Rodriguez and Brookman now for the Galaxy, Cifuentes again getting in the way, gets it to Giolini and LAFC with the ball once again and the wave spreading throughout the stadium, they're now doing the wave interesting fans here this evening as we make it to the 60 minute mark and that is a bit questionable let's see what happens here it's a red card Martin Kacheres sent off and it'll be 11 on 10 for the rest of the game let's see the replay wow substitution for Los Angeles but that does not take away the red card for those unfamiliar it is 11 on 10 for the rest of the game LAFC with the advantage as the free kick is taken and saved by Bond the Galaxy's goalkeeper has been on point this evening hoping to make it through these last 30-ish minutes and give the Galaxy a win in El Trafico to start off the 2023 season as the wave passes through this corner. And speaking of corners, we're waiting for one. There we go. Three shots for Hernandez, five for Acosta this evening. And Buanga to Biuk. Jovelic will get in the way. Prevent. LAFC from scoring, at least for now. And breaking away up the field. Passes to Delgado. Chicharito. Ricky Puig, who scored the only goal of this game so far, scores another one. 2 nothing for the Los Angeles Galaxy here in El Trafico. It is not looking good for the Cup champions. Not a good luck to start the season. 
Maybe this is not a dynasty after all, despite Gareth Bale and Giorgio Cellini being part of it. 2 nothing, the LA Galaxy in the lead, or extending their lead, I should say. And that's two today for Requi, Pu Requi Puig. Two goals to his name, the only two goals of this game. Two nothing for the Los Angeles Galaxy, thanks to him. Delgado, Brugman, Chicharito. Puig once again, maybe a hat trick. Passes it forward, Delgado into the air, it's in! It's in! It's rather unorthodox, but it's in. I want to see the replay on this, because that was... You don't see that every day. Into the air. Goalkeeper misses. Cialini tries to head it away. Desperate attempt. But I think that might be counted as an own goal as he falls into the net. Indeed, it is counted as an own goal on LAFC. 3 nothing for the Galaxy. Two goals in just a few minutes. And we're into the final 20-ish minutes of this game. Free kick now for the captain, Vela. But it will be taken... No, it won't. Faking out even me, even the commentator, sent over the crossbar by the captain, and Bond will now set up for the goal kick. A humiliating defeat for LAFC it will be if they can't find their groove in these last 18, 17 minutes. Kalibali, Mavinga, Chicharito, Jovetic, and Hollingshead able to block. Mavinga and Brugman, 15 minutes to go, approximately. Cifuentes, Buanga, Vela. Acosta, Biuk, Hollingshead, 163 passes for LAFC, 110 for the Galaxy. Long to Hollingshead. Close to the goal, deep in the red zone, if you'll allow me to use some terminology from American football. Cifuentes to Acosta, Delgado, Illy. Cifuentes, Buanga. Bond backs up and stops it as we reach the 80 minute mark. 10 minutes to go here at the Dignity Health Sports Park. Murillo will send it out. And now, substitution opportunity. One for each team. Edwards, Mavinga, Chicharito, Delgado, and Long will take it now for LAFC, Illy, Buok, Buanga moving up, what a shot it is! But right into the hands of Bond, that would have been amazing if it were to go in, and a bit of a consolation prize in a way, because it looks like the defending champions are going to lose this game. We've seen miracles happen before, of course. We say anything can happen on the Beagle Sports Network, but with every second, every minute that passes, it becomes more and more unlikely. Cifuentes has held the ball for a considerable amount of time in this game. He's been quite involved. Acosta and Vela... Buanga sends it into the air, but out of bounds. 
as Araujo picks it up and throws it in. Leardum. Araujo again. That could be a bit questionable. No card. Just a warning. As we take a look at the replay, Acosta just smashing into him. The fans have gotten kind of quiet in these final few minutes of this game. The home fans assured of victory as we move into the final two minutes, not counting anything added on, which there most certainly will be. Mavinga, Brookman, looking around, finds Chicharito. And four minutes added on to close out El Trafico, the first game of our MLS coverage this season. Again, every Thursday night, we'll be simulating a game from the upcoming weekend. Buanga to Apoku. And Araujo will clear it away. Cifuentes, Acosta, Buanga. Araujo and Brugman. And one more chance for the champions, perhaps. No. There's the final whistle. A 3-0 win for the Los Angeles Galaxy over their crosstown rivals. El Trafico kicking off the 2023 season. And a defeat for the defending champions. Thank you for watching. We'll see you. We hope to see you tomorrow night for WWE Friday Night SmackDown. Rikui Puig, the man of the match this evening. Two goals from two shots. As we bid farewell from Los Angeles.